So you want to get in tech, but you're standing in front of all these fancy acronyms like A+, Net+, AWS, Cisco, Security+, Google IT Support, and your brain is like, what the hell is this? Which one of these is going to change my life and not waste my time? So today, I got you. We're breaking down what CERT actually teaches you what you actually need to know. What is, what's going to lead to a job? We're going to talk about what CERTs actually teach you, what job it's going to lead you to, and what type of person it's really for. So by the end of this, you'll know what CERT makes the most sense for you. And spoiler alert, I'm not going to tell you what to choose. That's your job. But this video should make the decision a lot easier. Let's go. First up is ITF Plus. This is more of like an intro to tech for absolute beginners. All right, so the ITF Plus stands for Information Technology Fundamentals. So you know what that really means. It means I just need someone to explain to me the basics and the fundamentals of IT. This is usually best for people who are brand new, who don't really have a strong foundation of what tech actually is. Now, I have a lot of my students start here anyway because you always got to have the fundamentals. You got to have that stuff down pack. ITF Plus, honestly, is like training wheels for your brain. It's truly going to teach you the basics of hardware, software, cloud, cybersecurity, cloud and basics, networking concepts, and everything that you really need to know and should know to have the fundamentals in tech. So what jobs can you get with ITF Plus? Not many, to be honest. This is more of an educational uh, certification as opposed to a job-ready certification. So if you think about getting to tech, this is a great place to start. You know, if you're the type of person that likes to read uh, the instructions twice before building your IKEA furniture, this may be a, a good spot for you to start. So, for example, I had a student who was scared to death of tech, didn't even like logging into Gmail for real. So we started her with ITF Plus, and a few weeks later, she was building a home lab and troubleshooting her neighbor's Wi-Fi and landed a job. So sometimes you just need to get your feet wet without diving into the deep end. Now, the next up is A+. Plus. So this is for the tinkerers, the hustlers, the, the hands-on learners, right? So this is kind of your real first tech cert that's going to lead to my job. So if ITF Plus is the warm-up, then A+, plus is your first real workout. So it's going to teach you a couple of different things, how networks, computers, security, cloud, how all this stuff ties in together. One of the biggest foundational things you're going to learn is troubleshooting. Uh, we're going to talk about operating systems and you're going to learn how to dive into a network and how to make that network secure. It's a little bit of everything. It's really just going to show you you know, how to fix stuff. You know, A plus uh, is perfect for uh, anybody. If you uh, like fixing things, you like tinkering, uh, if you like being a go-to person for uh, your organization, your friends, your family, let's say you ever open up an old laptop just to see what's inside, this is an awesome certification uh, for you to start. So there's a bunch of different jobs that you can land with A plus as well. So you're not just, you know, tinkering and messing around. You can get into help desk, you can get into IT support, you can field technician, uh, a service desk analyst, just a bunch of different things. This cert is really how to get your foot in the door. It's like your golden ticket to uh, your first job. So this is for the builders, the ones who like problem solving, uh, Googling error messages, uh, like it's a side hustle. So one of my guys, I was actually thinking about, uh, he worked at FedEx, throwing boxes all night, Came home exhausted, but he still studied for an hour. Got A plus, got a help desk job. Now he's remote and he's making triple what he was making before. And he's still doing all that wearing sweatpants. Uh, the next certification I want to talk about is Network Plus. So this is for the connected dot thinkers, right? So you ever walked into a server room and think, what in the hell is going on in here? That is where Network Plus truly comes in. It gives you a deep understanding of networking and it teaches you about routers, switches, IP addressing, subnetting, firewalls, uh, TCP IP, just everything about the internet and connected networks. You will fully understand 
how devices talk to each other, how to secure them, and how to set things up. Now, when it comes to jobs, you can get a bunch of different jobs with this certification. You can become a network technician. You can become a junior network administrator and just a bunch of different supporting roles that lead to networking. So this is more for chess players. You think in systems, patterns. You like seeing how A connects to B, connects to Z, so on and so forth. If you ever unplug the router and plug it back in and felt like a hero, this might be the one for you. Next up is Security Plus. So this is for the watchdogs and the problem preventers, right? Security Plus is where the bag gets real heavy. Man. So this cert teaches you a bunch of different stuff. Uh, threats, attacks, vulnerabilities, encryption, firewalls, import security, risk management, project management, and this is where the money gets uh, really good. So if you're the type of person who you know, checks the locks twice before you go to bed and you have a security mindset, uh, don't like to ignore any type of suspicious activities and you just love solving mysteries, this may be the certification for you. Cybersecurity is uh, one of those things that can change your life, change your tax bracket, and be amazing for you. You can become a security analyst once you get security uh, plus certified, a SOC analyst. And these are just a few of the different jobs that you, the skills that you would get in security plus, you would be using them inside of these jobs. So just understand, you won't become a hacker overnight with security plus, but it is uh, the first brick in uh, the cyber wall. Now let's talk about uh, Google uh, versus uh, Amazon stuff, right? So the Google IT support certification is basic, it's beginner friendly, it's clean and packaged well like something Google would make, right? But here's the thing, it's not a deep cert and not necessarily a, a resume booster. It's more just a skill builder and somewhere, you know, to start, right? Uh, and not necessarily great for hands-on. Now the AWS or the Amazon Cloud Practitioner, that's a little bit uh, different. Cloud jobs are, are super hot right now and AWS as of right now is pretty much the king of the cloud. So if you're uh, curious about hosting apps, servers in the cloud, uh, modern IT environments and stuff like that, this may be the certification for you. But understand, just because you get an AWS certification, that shit does not mean that you're going to get a job at Amazon. So if you love cloud stuff, AWS may be a cool place to start. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is uh, Cisco. So uh, this is for a uh, more uh, detail oriented, uh, network loving uh, perfectionist, right? So Cisco is uh, been around for a, a long time. And CCNA really teaches you advanced networking, switching, routing, VLANs, and a multitude of other networking things. And when it comes to Cisco, it's super technical, it's specific, and I would say it's not necessarily as beginner friendly as some of the other certifications we talked about. But if you love networking, want to go deep into networking, so like typing commands in the terminal like you in the damn matrix, then Cisco might be the thing for you. But heads up though, a lot of people try to jump straight into CCNA and end up drowning. You need to know your basics of networking first. So what certification should you get first? Hell if I know, that is your job. I'm just hoping that this video made that decision a whole lot easier. You should actually understand the game and not just, you know, be guessing based on some Reddit threads or some old ass blog posts. In this video, you got the breakdown, the personality fit, the job potential. So now the ball is in your court. And here's the truth. There's no wrong choice as long as you make one and get started. Because just sitting on the sidelines studying the game isn't the same as playing it. Other than that, I'll see you in class.